Hi Donald. How is the report for your boss going? Not too bad Rosanna. Thanks for your help before. That's what I'm here for. By the way, did you correct the mistake about the pantry? You know, when you said, everyone is unhappy with the pantry. Yes, I realize now that actually only around a half were dissatisfied, so it was wrong for me to say everyone. Still, it is a problem if just half the staff are satisfied. That's right. So what stage in the report are you at now? I've finished the findings, and I've written a short conclusion, summarizing those problems and linking to the recommendations. So that's where I am now, about to write the recommendations. And, you would like my help again? Yes, I'd like to check my ideas with you first. Okay, fire away. What's your solution for the first problem, about the junior staff being dissatisfied with the equipment? The problem is that the junior staff have quite old computers, so I was going to recommend that we get them new models. This way the computers will run faster, and won't hang when multiple programs are being run. That's right, so the end result will be greater working efficiency which will keep your boss happy. How about furniture? Any solutions? For furniture, I propose that we get some ergonomic chairs for the staff. They will be more comfortable so sickness rates should go down as a result. Also, better tables with improved storage would also help staff in their work. Yes, no more wonky tables with files falling off the side. Again, all this is good for improved working performance. So, the pantry, what's your idea for that? Increase the number of times the cleaner comes in? Yes, I think I'll suggest that the cleaner comes in every weekday. That way hygiene should be improved. Also, we could get a coffee machine and microwave for staff to use. Good idea, that way staff can reheat their own lunches, while the coffee machine is a good area for socializing. Yes, so staff won't have to go outside for lunch or coffee. Instead they can stay in the office, relax and chat with their colleagues at lunch, and then be ready to work hard in the afternoon. Great. If you give a good rationale like that, your boss is more likely to approve your recommendations. Thanks. Any other advice you can give me? Well, my advice is similar to what I told you before. Keep your language formal. Have headings, subheadings and numbering. This way you are able to link each of the points in your findings to a specific recommendation. Okay, I'll do that. Also, I should use a wide range of vocabulary, right? Yes, try not to overuse words like satisfied and recommend. There are other words such as contented or suggest. Yes, I remember before you taught me disgruntled. Okay, I need to get back to work now. Thanks again, Rosanna. Bye. Goodbye Donald. Keep up the good work.